If you are in the market for a new manual hand grinder, look no more because the Time More C2 is probably the most reliable, consistent, and affordable budget premium grinder on the market today. Hey guys, so I've been in the market for a new grinder ever since I came back to America because my grinder is still in the Philippines and for context, I have been using a Barazza Virtuoso electric grinder, which is absolutely great. 10 out of 10 recommend that. But I needed something to grind coffee here in America and I needed something kind of portable because I knew I had something electric back home. After doing some diligent research, I came across this grinder made by a Chinese company called the Time More C2 and I am blown away by this product. I'm the kind of buyer that makes a lot of intensive research and comparisons before pulling the trigger and the Time More C2 is a grinder that really stood out to me and I'm here to tell you why. One of the main points when choosing a manual grinder is the price. One of the reasons why I have abstained from manual grinders for so long is because they're either <clears throat> one really expensive on the cheaper side, very limited on their utilities, customization, and functionality. On this low end, I am talking about um, Prolex grinder or a Hario Skirtin Pro, which roughly costs around $60, 50 to $60. So I wanted something in the middle, and this is where the Time War C2 came in at around $70. So it is more of a splurge than the Hario Skirtin and the Prolex grinders, but honestly, for the extra $20 that you're investing and budgeting for it, it goes a long way with the functionality. I mean, when you put this next to my white fellow kettle along with my white origami dripper, it makes for a very clean and pretty aesthetic that matches harmoniously together. But aside from the price, I know people are looking for a very functional grinder. So speed-wise, this grinder is incredibly fast, faster than I was ever expecting for a manual grinder. I know my friend who uses a Hario Skirtin Pro has to grind 20 grams of coffee in three minutes. And I definitely do not want to spend three minutes grinding coffee in the morning when I need my caffeine hit and I just woke up from bed. But 20 grams of coffee into the Time War C2 and my grind size is 17. I'm gonna time how long it takes to grind 18 grams of coffee right now. Done. So that was about 33 seconds, minus the time it took for me to put this down and pick this up. So 30 seconds for 18 grams, which is pretty freaking fast for a manual grinder. The, the third most important selling point for this grinder is the grind size. When you open up the bottom of the Time War C2, you can adjust the grind size to fine or coarse. And there's even a guide given to you to help you navigate how to find the correct grind size for whichever coffee brewing method you like. And after playing with this for about two weeks now and grinding different sizes of coffee, the Time War C2 grinds very evenly and consistent and has a very little amount of fine particles, which is great. But the Time Off C2 does have cons. The first con that I can think of conversely is the price. This is $70 to $80, which is expensive for a manual grinder, but it is also, again, the best premium budget manual grinder out there on the market. Honestly, compared to the Hario Skirtin at around $50, $60, budgeting that extra $20 for the Time Off C2 definitely goes a long way in the functionality you get and consistency with it, and speed too. So while price is steep, for a manual grinder, it is, again, the best premium budget grinder available right now. A second con is that this grinder is not good for espresso, unfortunately. But that's not a problem for me because I do not have an espresso machine and I personally just don't make espressos. I make pour overs in the morning, sometimes cold brew. If you are looking for a manual grinder that can grind fine for espresso, check out the 1Z Espresso. But again, that grinder is $160, and why spend $160 on a manual grinder when you can buy an electric one for the same price? That's that's why, again, Time Mark C2 is lit. The third con after using this is design-wise. As you saw on the bottom of the grinder to adjust the grind size, 
It's pretty unintuitive. You have to turn the knob all the way clockwise to the right to set it to zero and then turn it counterclockwise through individual clicks to find the correct position you want. I definitely would have appreciated some sort of design element that can denote where I am on the clicks. So maybe if I was on 17, I have been using 17 for a week, forgot about it, and then came back to it like a week or two later and was like, oh man, what kind of grind size have I been using for the past two weeks? I would have to then respin it clockwise to zero and count how many clicks along the way it took me to get there. I've been loving this grinder, I've had it for two weeks so far. This thing is sturdy, this thing feels reliable, even though it has some plastic interior parts, I'm honestly, you know, hoping that this lasts a long time. So even this burr adjustment part is plastic as well, but the burr itself, which is 38 millimeters, is made of stainless steel. Another thing to mention about this hand grinder is that it is a 20 gram capacity. So if you're gonna be grinding for more than yourself, it's a good thing this grinder is fast. Just to reiterate again, the pros, best budget premium coffee grinder, hella quick, so fast. Like, literally, I would be surprised if there was anything faster than this manual grinder. Third, adjustable grind size and very consistent for what it does. So if you are in the market for a new grinder, definitely check this out. I am not sponsored or anything. I'm just really hyped about this product. Um, but if you do want to help a homie out, click my affiliate link down below to purchase some fellow products. Um, definitely goes a long way in helping me out so I can make more of these videos and also, you know, make more coffee related content. So yeah, I'm gonna um, finish my coffee and head to work.